Aquarius. Hello, Aquarius friends. Um, before we get into it, I would like to set the intention for this to be a space where everyone allows themselves to feel seen and validated and ultimately for this to be a safe space, a healing space in alignment with everyone's highest good. I feel so happy to be here with you, Aquarius. So happy to get into this. I'm, I'm feeling some intense energy, Aquarius. All right, let's get into it. Thank you for being here. I'm very happy to be here with you. Okay, I'm looking at the magician. I am looking at an offer that we may be being guided to not take. I'm hearing at this point, okay? There's an offer that may be coming in, some communication coming in. Um, from a magician in the distance, in at a distance from us, something like that. Our intuition may be guiding us. I'm hearing something about a recognition, okay? Maybe recognizing something that may be coming in in this energy, Aquarius. I'm looking at Mercury, I'm looking at Leo. Okay, I'm seeing that we're being guided to not take the offer that is um, coming in for us because the person that's going to be making this offer is in this type of energy, okay? And this is why we're being guided not to take it. I'm hearing playing smart, playing safe by not taking whatever this offer is. I'm hearing listening to your gut, okay? And there are retrogrades that are happening. A lot of planetary movements right now, okay? So there may be some returns that we're seeing. I'm getting as well that um, we're looking at the progress that we have made in regard to how our intuition has grown. I'm seeing that um, someone may be coming in making an offer to collaborate with us. However, the energy that they are in is not one that as we see it, we want to be collaborating with because I'm seeing that it's not a serious offer to be collaborating with. I'm getting that it's just something that's going to slow you down, okay? I'm seeing that we're also, um, we are also, um, carrying a lot of tasks right now, okay? Maybe a lot to complete. I'm hearing tying loose ends, okay? But I'm seeing that we're being called to really dig deep and close out whatever cycles these are that need to be closed out. I'm seeing that our intuition is guiding us through which things, which offers we want to be taking in, what we want to be engaging in emotionally as well. Okay, and I'm seeing too that um, there may be a decision that we need to make regarding a collaboration, maybe with another, something going on at work, okay? However, we need to make a, a decision about the people in the Seven of Swords energy, okay? I'm getting something about like being frank. And as our intuition guides us, leading us through this cycle, we come to a, I'm hearing a complete, I'm seeing that we're being guided to remain in emotional um, alignment, in alignment with our emotional integrity because of whatever energies are like this at work, okay? I'm hearing something about staying strong, okay, Aquarius? I'm getting something like just keep your, keep your eyes straight, just keep going. And for anyone tuning in, um, this reading may resonate with you wherever Aquarius falls in your birth chart. So, for example, if you have um, a Venus in Aquarius, this reading may resonate with you um, regarding your interpersonal relationships. Oh, 
also collaborations that you may be having with others. I'm looking at the Page of Pentacles. I'm looking at the Three of Cups. I'm looking at the Ten of Swords. I'm looking at the High Priestess. I'm getting a feeling that our guides may have helped us out with ending a cycle by, um, by giving us some... Uh, some much sought after knowledge that we now have, okay? I'm hearing happiness in endings. Maybe really recognizing that we were going to be stuck in a cycle unless we did end something and there being a celebration because our guide successfully helped us to end a cycle that um, was really just holding us back. I'm seeing um, something going on about a soul contract, okay? And I'm seeing that um, something needed to end because um, there was juggling that was going on, okay? Someone like, I'm getting, uh, I'm getting wishy-washy, okay? This is why the cycle needed to be ended, okay? It wasn't going anywhere is what I'm getting and I'm seeing that... By us ending whatever cycle this is, that we are victorious, like we come out victoriously. I'm seeing that there's assistance um, that the hermit has in looking into his little lantern. Um, maybe looking at the past, I'm seeing... Um, I'm hearing the word rejoicing. I'm seeing our guides and those close to us that support us. Um, I'm seeing there being a celebration and I'm seeing like spirit and your guides celebrating because of all of this hard work that you have accomplished. I'm seeing, I'm hearing continuously and I'm seeing that um, the ending uh, comes full circle and I'm seeing that what had been juggled is, um, is now laid to rest, okay? And I see that we have decided, I'm hearing ultimately, to step into our power, Aquarius. I'm hearing something about this being a really big move, a really big change for us. And again, stepping into our power, deciding what we want and going for it. I'm hearing New Year's resolution. Maybe this was something that you had like really planned out to do. I'm seeing that the knowledge of the High Priestess is what elevates us and what gets us to the point of victory. By having whatever that wisdom is that we have now found, I'm seeing again, we step into our power and we go for what we want. I'm hearing the word prowess. I'm getting that this is like a very big shift for where we were before Aquarius. Okay, and that is the end of a cycle for us. I'm hearing a now new beginnings, Aquarius. Very exciting. me. 
looking at the past, I'm looking at a tower, something that's being called out. I'm young tower moment. I know you guys just saw me shuffle these. I'm seeing something from the past. I'm seeing us connecting on astral. Partnership, soulmate. That's that's the vibe I'm getting. Someone in the past you may have connected with on a soul level. I'm getting some sort of psychic connection, okay? Possibly contract, twin flame, something like that. I'm hearing along those lines. Whatever agrees with one's system as far as what they believe in, Aquarius. Getting something about calling it out, okay? The progress that we've made in harmony, I'm hearing in gaining harmony. Just had Pisces popping out for us. Maybe with a Pisces, okay? I'm looking at like a twin flame connection. I'm seeing like the distance we've traveled and I'm looking at Pisces. I'm seeing this very much as an energy outside of yourself, Aquarius. So there may be some involvement with the Pisces. Again, this can be that area of someone's chart in relation to the area of Aquarius in your chart. I'm looking at chaos falling on the floor. I'm hearing removing ourselves. So I'm seeing a, a twin flame or some sort of soul contract from the past, okay? I'm seeing us looking at the progress that we've made, the distance we've come in connecting on astral, okay? That's what I'm getting. And I'm seeing the two of cups and then I'm seeing Pisces, okay? Again, this can be that. I'm hearing something about complementary. That area of their chart regarding planets, right? If we're talking about someone with their... Venus in Aquarius, okay? This may be someone with a Venus in Pisces. Okay, I'm I'm seeing that uh there was there was chaos going on um chaos going on before Because someone had manifested juggling, maybe someone in this energy. But I'm seeing that Pisces may have given us some sort of assistance through the chaos. I'm hearing this makes a lot of sense. And I'm seeing what we manifest leads to a tower. I'm hearing the inevitable. Aquarius. And I'm seeing that someone may have been turning a blind eye to the juggling, okay? I'm hearing resistant to seeing. And I'm seeing that someone in the collaboration was really not um, behaving in a high vibrational way. I'm seeing somebody that you may have been working with, someone you may have been working with, right? Collaborating with, I'm hearing sharing ideas. I'm seeing that this was the energy that they were in, okay? I'm hearing unhealthy. 
So really not benefiting anyone. This is someone um, behaving in a way that is not being a team player, okay? With And they're collaborating with others, so really not a great place for that type of energy to be um, bringing into something. And I'm looking at the Ace of Wands sliding off of the table. And I'm looking at someone stepping into their power. I'm hearing their divine power. I'm hearing hitting something with their north node. Okay, maybe you stepping into your north node, Aquarius. weird I don't usually have trouble shuffling There may have been a cycle that you were guided to end with someone. I just saw 1644. A cycle that you were guided to end with someone um, that you felt drawn to. Maybe for their abilities. Maybe the knowledge that they had. Aquarius. There's a message coming in about a transformation. Maybe about a Scorpio. about how things were not, um, they were not balanced, and I'm seeing, like, someone, um, someone feeling really hurt about some sort of offer. I'm hearing something that didn't go anywhere, maybe Aquarius, and the healing that we are called to do. I'm looking at harmony, marriage. I'm looking at, I almost called her the high priestess. It's the queen of wands. Harmony. Narcissistic energy. Ending. Maybe some sort of harmony, some sort of union you'd been in before with someone behaving in a way that was not working well in the dynamic, okay? I'm hearing not trustworthy. And you needed to dead that cycle being guided to. You may have been resistant to doing this, Aquarius. Aquarius wants to see the best in everybody. I'm seeing that there's, um, there's an offer that, um, that was not taken. I'm looking at Aquarius. Maybe because when um, when someone looked within, they saw the type of energy that the offer was coming from. I'm looking at I'm looking at harmony that would have worked. 
something that was guided, okay? I'm hearing a guided process and then I'm looking at someone looking within and seeing someone in a narcissistic energy. I'm seeing someone um, ending cycles, maybe even knowing that they were going to be alone if they made this decision but choosing to anyway and not taking the um i'm hearing incoming offer that came from this person and needing to step up make a decision to release whatever this was I'm seeing that whatever confusion we had been experiencing was part of the test. I'm hearing the grand test. Aquarius. We got this, Aquarius. I'm hearing my friend. Because we know about our dreams, what we want. Okay, this is the second time the Ace of Wands has slid off the table. I'm seeing us getting to a place where we feel safe feeling our deepest emotions and also expressing them creatively in some sort of lead position. And I'm seeing healing that has been done. Healing that has been done after being in this place, okay? So the work that's been done to step into a place where we are in touch with our emotions and feel safe to be soft is what I'm getting. You may have been guided to end a cycle with, um, you may have been guided to end a cycle with someone that you felt, um, very pulled in by, hearing attracted to, but I'm seeing that spirit has been watching over you, even on the nights where you worry most, I'm getting, I'm hearing protected. Okay, and I'm seeing Saturn energy, I'm seeing Jupiter energy, okay? I'm seeing that we get in touch with, um, with our gratitude by healing the heart chakra. And I'm seeing that there's an opportunity that is going to be um, brought to us for some sort of union. I'm hearing partnership. I'm hearing that very strongly, a partnership. by someone um, in the Queen of Cups energy. And I'm seeing that we were, we were able to step into this role of um, feeling empowered and feeling like we're in charge of things. I'm hearing like a good leader by ending cycles that, um, that were not furthering us. I'm hearing in our career, I'm also getting like on a personal level too, like what we're giving our passion to. And I'm seeing that we now step into a place where we're stepping into a lead role creatively and also with our money too. Bringing stability to the home. And I'm seeing that spirit is guiding you into a collaboration. I'm hearing guided collaboration. And I'm also seeing that um, this is the wish fulfillment that the hermit sees when he looks into his cleared heart chakra. I'm hearing exciting news.
I am looking at Taurus and I'm looking at Virgo. Okay, I'm seeing counterpart energies now. I'm looking at there being assistance um, that comes with whatever union this is that we're being guided into, okay? That is going to be offered to us. And I'm seeing um, kind of the, the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands mirroring each other. I'm getting that there's some sort of completeness that happens because we have ended... Um, the cycles that we were guided to end and so now we get to begin a new cycle maybe with a partner um maybe one that reflects the things that we want to see reflected in another i'm hearing in that space now i'm hearing holding space okay so maybe someone that will hold space for you maybe someone that you will feel like you want to hold space for as well i'm hearing happily I'm hearing it was all worth it, Aquarius. All worth the hard work. Oh, I'm hearing too, putting your foot down as well. So worth learning the lessons that we needed to to pass these tests. I'm getting that this collaboration is absolutely a guided one as well. Um, who, whatever energies you're going to be working with, this is something guided for us, Aquarius. Whatever um, energies are coming in for us now. I'm hearing heed your intuition. Always. Um, okay, and I'm seeing that... I'm seeing that the hermit is working very, very hard to make his dreams come true. Also, to speak from the heart, I'm hearing from a place of passion, honesty, and integrity. I'm hearing the hard work that must be done. I'm seeing a... Power that may have been because of whatever this collaboration was and I'm seeing that the pieces are now being built back I'm hearing put together maybe by um by you healing and also by whatever this incoming soul contract is that's coming for us I'm seeing that this is going to be a surprising experience I'm hearing a surprising experience for Aquarius I'm hearing believe it. I'm seeing an energy that has matured as well. That can now absolutely offer assistance to us. Someone that has maybe done the work just the same to step into their power had the strength to mature. I'm seeing those that are learning the lessons are continuing forward and kind of being called into a circle of, um, I'm hearing like, I'm hearing like vibrational energies. And I'm seeing that, uh, and eh, we don't need to talk about that. We're just worried about us right now, right? Okay, and falling on the floor, we have the Queen of Swords. By us setting boundaries, we move to a place that is balanced. I'm hearing and just 
getting our justice. I'm hearing because of the lessons that we've learned that we've gone through, okay? I'm hearing karmic justice. Also alchemizing decisions that we had a really hard time. Balancing decisions we had a really hard time making. I'm hearing facing. I'm hearing now facing it head on too. Ooh, I'm getting something about the third eye. Okay, we're going to run through this one more time, Aquarius, and then we're going to cut it off. I want to thank everybody for being here. Thank you for joining. I'm seeing the magician is manifesting. Rather than getting stuck in a mind frame where we allow ourselves to feel powerless, okay? Rather than that, we're stepping into a place of empowerment. Just saw 3144. And calling the wheel of fortune in our favor, manifesting that. I'm getting that this is not just ourselves, but for the benefit of others as well, Aquarius. Feel proud to be an Aquarius. All right. Yeah, look, manifesting. The rebalancing. I'm hearing of the worldly scales, okay? I'm hearing Grand Dominion. I'm seeing that there's balancing that we gain by mastering our emotions. I'm hearing our emotional palace. So maybe the emotions that we experience in our soul, I'm hearing within the body. I'm hearing calm time, and I'm seeing that the Wheel of Fortune, ooh, I'm hearing retrograde, okay? There's something going on with the Wheel of Fortune and some sort of transformation, okay? I'm getting um, the 3rd of October. I just saw three, 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 three. We got something big that's going to be coming in for us, Aquarius. I'm hearing grand. I'm getting that um, we're being called also. When we get into a place where we're, um, I'm hearing stressing and straining, I'm seeing that we're being called to do the emotional work, okay? To get ourselves to a place where we feel safe, okay? It's going to be really important for us. And I'm seeing grounding work that we're being called to do at times when we do not feel grounded, okay? Bringing ourselves back into our body. This is root chakra work. I'm getting something about the vessel. I'm also hearing vagus nerve. This, um, okay, so the, the vagus, that's, um, in relation to our fight, flight, or freeze. 
So um, when we feel like we're in a place that um, we feel like there, um, there are disruptions to our stability, okay, there are things that we can do that bring us back into our body. Things like, um, like splashing cold water on our face, things like gargling water for a minute, things, um, things like counting all the things that are green in the room, stuff like that that's going to bring us back into our bodies, okay? These are um, DBT skills for anybody curious. It's very helpful um, if anyone is looking into coping skills that one can use on a day-to-day -day basis that really help to ground you, okay? And help you to feel stable, okay? I'm seeing that the Wheel of Fortune, there's, there's a transformation that we go through. I'm getting Jupiter energy, okay, strongly, and I'm seeing that there's a transformation with our gifts. Maybe the gifts that come down for us. I'm getting the gifts that are tangible for us. And I'm seeing that someone in manifesting equality, not just for themselves, but for the world around them. I'm seeing someone really stepping into their power. I'm hearing like getting in touch both with their guides, with their self, with the world around them as well. I'm hearing on every level. I'm seeing it like dimensionally on every level. And I'm seeing that by stepping into our power, this came out reversed. We transcend the illusion. I'm hearing forcibly. We make this happen for ourselves. It's not like we're just magically in the right place at the right time always. It's that sometimes we're in the right place at the right time. And also, sometimes we rely on the hard work that we do to get us there as well. Co-creating with spirit is um, about doing our part. It's about drawing the blueprint and then allowing spirit and our guides to kind of fill that in. But we have to do our part. I'm hearing the working way. And I'm seeing that um, there's... Um, there's alchemizing that we do to get outside of the frame of mind that has us very stressed and very worried because we're mastering, we're learning to master our emotions, to really gain that control and put us in a place where we feel empowered. And I'm seeing that by grounding, it helps us to transcend illusion. Um, I'm also hearing disillusionment, which is really like feeling unsatisfied, feeling unhappy, feeling dissatisfied with the way that things are. Um, it's very um, dystopian type of energy. And I'm seeing us really transcending that by getting connected with our dreams and what we want and what makes us feel safe, what makes us feel secure. I just saw 3744. And I'm seeing that the wheel of fortune turns in our favor. There's a big transformation that happens because of I'm hearing the way that we use our gifts and our abilities to temper the things that we feel like are our soul calling, our soul missions, and also bring that down to a grounded place where we are doing the footwork, putting that to action in our everyday life, in the environment that we exist in. Um, I'm hearing in this society as well. Um, I'm getting that this is going to be a big part of, um, of how we open our third eye. I'm hearing and keep it open as well. So we are going to end it there. Aquarius, I would like to thank everybody for joining. Thank you for being here. I'm so honored to be here with you and meet you on your journey. I am wishing everybody love and light and healing, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.